Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I have a quick video today to show you how you can add patterns into your Silhouette Studio library. Now, one word of caution here. Patterns are usually JPEG files, sometimes PNG files or TIFF files. This means that they are photo files. They can be huge. This eats up your precious library space. Anytime you add a design or pattern into the library or you save your own personal designs to the library, it is synced to the cloud, it eats up space. I will put a link in the description below for additional information on the Silhouette library and what all of that means, local user versus cloud, all of that kind of stuff. I have a video for that, but this video is showing you how you can easily add a pattern to your library if you choose to do so. I only recommend storing the patterns that you're going to use often into your library because it does take up precious space. So I am in the Silhouette Studio software. I'm under the library tab and you have a patterns folder on the left side in your library tree. You can see I have several patterns here. I am going to open the folder in the My Explorer. So this is just the Windows viewer where a pattern is saved. So I just opened a random one that I had background patterns. These happen to be Christmas. Christmas is over for 2023. It was just the first file I came upon. So I'm simply going to click on the, this is a PNG file. You can see that it is 1.49 um, MB. That's the size of the file. Patterns are going to be larger files than a simple cut line. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So I'm simply going to left click, hold my mouse down, drag that pattern into my patterns folder. You're going to see it change from 870 to 871. And then my pattern is going to show up in the patterns library. This little check mark here means that it is synced to my user cloud. So specifically to me and my username, my email and password. If you uncheck that, it's going to give you options to make it local. That means that it would not be synced to your cloud. It is not recoverable if you went to a different computer. It would not sync up to your uh, cloud library. It is computer specific. So again, links in the description below on more information on local user versus the cloud, but that is how you can easily add a pattern into the Silhouette library. Again, I caution this because they are huge files and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. If I come over here to this, down in the bottom right corner is this little list. This is where you can see exactly how big these files are. So all of these files, now Silhouette Design Store files do not count against your cloud storage. So if it's a pattern from the Silhouette Design Store that has been loaded, it is not counting against your cloud storage. But here you can see the size of these files. Now if I scroll down, let's take a look. So here it says general category, this is a printable pattern. Printable pattern will typically be something that, and you can see here the names of the designers, so the artist from the Silhouette Design Store. So you can kind of designate which ones are ones that I've added and which ones are files from uh, the design store. So here's another one that I've added. This is a very simple black and white pattern. Let's come down here just a little bit. So here is another very small pattern that's 2.8 MB. So you can see that different patterns and different um, files have different sizes to them. Again, I just found that simply by going over here in the bottom right corner to the list and you are able to see the size of those files. So if you are ever experiencing t problems with a file from the Silhouette Library or that is in the Silhouette Library, one of the first things I look at is the file size. If it is a huge file and you've added it to your library, it could be causing problems. Large, heavy data files can bog down your processing on your computer. So those are just some things to look at. And then to go back here, I'm gonna click on this icons. It's gonna bring up my patterns. And I will have additional links. Check out the video above for more information on the digital patterns, as well as links in the description below. 
Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hope those tips have helped. And if you have questions, please leave those in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications.